What's up people, my name is London Cars and today I'm going to be showing you a short video on the best first cars to modify in the UK under a thousand pounds. So to start us off we have the basic boy mobile, the Vauxhall Corsa. Yes, this is the most common first car in the UK, but with a large aftermarket community, you can pick up your girlfriend from school in style. I'm sure the traffic at 3.15 won't be that bad, bloody paedophiles. Anyway, the Vauxhall Corsa is easy to drive and has aged pretty well for how long it's been around. They are cheap to pick up, cheap to insure and cheap to run, and when it's time to upgrade there is a VXR edition. Second we have the Volkswagen Lupo or Seat Arossa. This city car is small and cute, but as with any VW group car, it has a large aftermarket community. Coilovers are cheap as well as insurance and running costs due to their 1 litre or 1.4 litre engines. They can be built to whatever specs you want. In fact, they built a diesel drag car out of a Seat Arossa that ran sub tents. And if you need inspiration, a GTI version exists. Third, we have the Citroen Saxo or Citroen C2. Now these are very different cars but I have put them into the same slot to fit them in. The Saxo VTR was a staple of the Max Power days and you will rarely see a VTR that hasn't been modded. Because of this insurance prices are a bit higher but they cost pennies to pick up and pennies to modify. The C2 was a follow up to the Saxo and was aimed squarely at driving enthusiasts. The loud stereo system and crazy interior unfortunately were not enough for it to fill the Saxo shoes but this is still a good car to modify with cheaper insurance prices. Fourth we have the Toyota Yaris. The main reason for this choice is that Mighty Car Mods turbocharged one. The first and second generation share engines and it is efficient to run and cheap to insure. Although the aftermarket community isn't massive, it is reliable and because of the T-Sport edition, you can upgrade when you want. Finally, we have the Ford Fiesta. More expensive to insure than most on this list, but also more powerful and spacious. This common first car has amazingly fun handling when stock and is even better when upgraded. There is a wealth of aftermarket options and ZTAC and ST versions to swap parts from to make it look more aggressive. It's the ultimate all-rounder and can be insured in the average area for about £1400. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like or subscribe as I'm a small channel and it really helps me out. See you in the next one.